shit given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed Tarot 2222, and today Virgo, it's your turn Your turn for reading with moi, the Virgo Tarot On Insta this time, people, giving it to them On Insta, people, because you lot It's been rocking out with me since the start So I'm about to give it to you, people So let's get to your reading Bear with the background noise. As you know, my house is full of people, them. So you have to bear with the noise, people. Let's get to your reading. Virgo, Virgo. As you can see, the cards have already been pre-shuffled. This is my second attempt at your reading today. My grandson just sabotaged the first. So let's get to your reading quickly, family, because we only have 15 minutes. So as you can see, we have the death card. Speaks of deaths and transformations, people, rebirths. So I feel like you've been ending some karmic cycles, some generational curses. I think you've been going through a period of lack and it's coming to an end. Karmic abusive relationships. For some of you, you actually had to bury someone. They passed on to the other side, transitioned. And this is the very thing that has pushed you towards changing your life, starting over. Doing something to honour their name, their life. I see you getting your shit together, Virgo. Standing alone. But it's needed. It's needed for this transformational period. The healing period. You had to say goodbye to someone, to some things. For some of you, it was an addiction. It was an end of addiction. You was relying on drugs, relying on drink, gambling too much, looking at porn too much, just doing something way too much. I see you ending that shit, transforming your life, people, transforming it. I see a whole new transformation. Do you know how beautiful this transformation is? It's a masterpiece. It brings in brighter days. It brings in growth. So I see growth coming to dead places, just like the Bible says. Life coming to the dry bones. I see you making something out of nothing. Making a change in your life. For some of you, that's your mindset. You had to kill the way that you used to do things. Maybe you was a Christian. Maybe you grew up in a church. Maybe you was an atheist. Maybe you was a Muslim. But whatever you was, you ain't no more. Your belief system has changed. Your thought pattern has changed. You had to kill the old you. So for some of you, this death card is like what Justin Timberland says. The old me has dead and gone. Dead and gone. So I see you saying goodbye to your former self and walking towards your new self, your new victory. Because here you are, Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. Sorry, Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus. People... Walking towards victory, walking towards growth, abundance, something more stable than where you was. You had to kill that toxic shit. And now you're walking with your horse, your best friend. Could be your dog, your cat. Walking towards a better day, a better home, a better job. And whatever it is, people, because this energy right here is slow, but it's sure. So it's been a long time coming for you. I feel like this transformational period, this rebirth, it's been a long time coming. You've been dragging your feet. And a tower moment had to come in and kill some shit in your life. And I'm sorry if it was a person that you lost. But this is the thing that spirit had to use to push you towards the path that they want you to take. The path that's going to lead you, Virgo, to abundance. I see some of you was pushed out of your mind. Left out in the cold. By close family and friends. Misunderstood. Overlooked most definitely. And underrated. Very, very underrated. But I see that your your rise to the top like the phoenix is slow. But sure. So I see there's a process. For some of you, your career had to die, your music business had to die, whatever you was doing had to die, because something just like the rebirth, just like the rebirth, just like the phoenix, 
Because as the phoenix dies every day, it rises. That's what I feel you're doing. You're stripping away each layers of yourself. And every day, you're becoming more alive, less of your older self, your former self, and you're bringing in the new, bringing in the rebirth, which is pushing you towards your path, your path that's going to bring you in money, abundance, stability. It's slow, but it's sure. It's grueling, but it's also worth it in the end. And here you are. Happy as Larry, just like Taurus, basking in the sun, in the joy, in the happiness and the peace. Tapping in, people, tapping in, getting energized. I see energy, energy, so much energy around you, surrounding you, within you. Why? Because here you are, you've tapped in, using the elements to create and co-create exactly what you want so that it comes to you now. Understanding that you are the magician, you are the sorcerer, you've always been. And there you are, accepting the offer from God and Spirit themselves. The offer to go on this path, this path to abundance, to healing. I see you being leaders, ascended masters, doing the damn work. Being able to heal once you are healed. I see you creating potions in your kitchen. Manifesting a whole new reality. A whole new dream. A whole new life for you and your children, some of you. And here you are. Accepting the offer from spirit themselves. Saying, yes, I accept this mantle. I accept it with pride. This is my birthright, is what I was meant to do. So I see a new offer coming in for you, something that is guided in from spirit themselves. It's going to take you to the top slowly, but surely. It's going to end some things, could be a job, a relationship, because your partner's not going to understand why you want to do. This offer is going to be so strange and profound. Your partner might not rock it out with you, and that's going to kill the relationship, and you're going to be left with a choice. Your path or your person. But in the end, I see that you're going to be recognized and rewarded for the work that you're doing on this path. This path is bringing you to your divine, true calling, people. The calling that makes you go on stage to tell your story, to help heal nations, to bring nations together, to overthrow governments. To bring back power to your people. I see you doing so much radical shit. Radical is the word, Virgo. Like, off the scale. Like, I see you shocking people and they're not expecting this shit from you. Literally. I was supposed to pull some more cards, but we don't have time. I feel like we're running out of time. At the bottom of the deck. Shit, then. There you are. Told you. There you are on stage and there your fans are. Virgo, Virgo, that's what I see, I see fans screaming your name at your concert, coming to see just you, because only you can give them what they need, they admire your strength, your tenacity, your drive, they come from far and wide to hear how you did it, how you made it, how you made it through, How you loved yourself again. How you tapped into that energy of the masculine and the feminine. How you manifested love into your life. They want to know all of it. How did you get yourself back up out of your dark place? How did you survive domestic violence? How did you survive that child abuse? They want to know everything. I see fans wanting to know your business. I see the scales being balanced for you now, Virgo. Justice is coming in. Justice is being served. The truth is coming out on a situation on some people. And when it comes out, there you are, able to grow and thrive. Not being held back no more. Trying to please those people that was really no good for you. I see you going forward alone now, trusting God and Spirit. Letting them lead you to your abundance. Not trusting man. And at the bottom of the deck, wow, fucking wow, the same card as Taurus. You're in alignment, people. Taurus and Virgo, Virgo and Taurus. 
there you are standing in your power, the emperor, the empresses, uh, taking the bull by the horns and manifesting that shit, making a change, creating the world that you want. So I see you being a change that you want to see, taking back control of your life and your mind, Virgo. This is amazing, but your girl's got to go. So I hope this resonated with somebody. If not, take what you need to and leave the rest, people. But this is your girl, D Virgo Tarot, 2222. Sending my Instagram people first and foremost, and then YouTube and Facebook. No pun intended, but Instagram has rocked it with me from day dot one when I was at two. So yeah, they have to get it first today, people, and I love them. Sending you love and light. Oh, we gonna play now, ready for the show. I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you got